connective tissue a tissue that can connect to different or same kind of structures that's called connective tissue the skin configure in various type on the basis of its function first is called connective tissue proper this is the tissue which can truly connect to same or different kind of organs or structures while the second tissue is called vascular tissue as the word meaning is clear vascular means conductive so it's conductive kind of tissue it's liquid in nature and it's present throughout the body third tissue is basically supporting tissue which is also called skeletal tissue today we will discuss about connective tissue proper so first of all connective tissue proper can be configured in various type on the basis of its presence and function so i have told you earlier this one is a tissue that can connect to different kind of things or to similar things connective tissue proper can be configured in various type these are the first one is called areolar tissue now we will see what is areolar tissue and what's the meaning of this areolar that means where air spaces are found where blank space is found areolar areolar tissue is present there that's why it's also known as filling tissue this one is usually found in between skin and muscles as well as it can cover nervous tissue it's found around nerves as well as blood vessels around blood vessels so basically this is the tissue which is quite abundant in the body can be represent by white and yellow fibers these are situated like this some white fibers and yellow fibers multiple white fibers are here these are forming a network like structure along with it some yellow fibers are present these all are embedded in a matrix here a liquid intercellular fluid is present that's called matrix in which yellow and elastin fibers white fibers in elastin fibers are present along with that some blood vessels are also found as i have told you earlier in epithelial tissue blood vessels are not present while in connective tissue these are quite clear so it's clear this one is blood vessels while the liquid the fluid is called matrix these green color fiber are white fibers while these purple color fibers are yellow fiber as the structure is quite clear to you these fibers arrange and form a large vacant space that's why this is called areolar tissue as i have told you areolar tissue is found between the skin and muscles around the blood vessels around the nerves and in bone marrow also now the second kind connective tissue proper is called adipose tissue this is a tissue which is responsible for fat deposition this is found beneath the skin and this is responsible for fat deposition for the fat deposition large kind of 
cells are present which are called adipocyte cells. I am going to draw the diagram of it. In this section you can see large cells are present. These are here. Which are filled by fat. That's why they will behave like fat globules. These all kind of adipocyte cells are present or embedded in matrix. This is here. Matrix. Again matrix is found here. In between the matrix, although fibers are not so clear here, but blood vessels, you can easily see blood vessels here. These cells can show fat deposition. So, this is also known as fat globule. So, this is matrix. These are blood vessels. Well, these cells are called adipocyte cells. So basically, our adipose tissue is found beneath the skin, which is formed by adipocyte cells, in which fat is going to deposit. These cells are found in a matrix where blood vessels are also present. This act as the insulator and prevents the loss of heat from the body. Somewhere this is quite thick, like in polar animals, deep sea animal, and there this thick adipose layer is called blubber. And this one act as heat insulator, that's why they can survive in these kind of adverse conditions. It's also provide protection to delicate tissue. The brain is surrounded by adipose tissue. Same here, around the heart, this one is present. Now the third type of connective tissue proper is called white fibrous connective tissue. So white fibrous connective tissue, as the meaning is quite clear, this is the connective tissue where white fibers are numerous in number. They have contain a very little matrix in which white fibers are quite abundant. They are arranged parallelly and forming a bunch like structure here in which a less or slight amount of matrix and blood vessels are formed. Usually these kind of bunches are helpful to connect bone to muscles. So white fibers connective tissue usually form tendons and require to connect bone with muscles. So it will form a junction between muscular system as well as skeletal system. This is here. It's a white fibrous connective tissue which is formed by bunches of white fibers. These are white fibers. which are also called inelastin fibers because they contain collagen instead of elastin protein a very less elastin we can say from here these are blood vessels and the intercellular fluid is present that's called matrix So white fiber is present, white fiber is formed by parallel arrangement of inelastin kind of white fibers which are formed, which are arranged and form various bunches here. In between them, matrix are formed and blood vessels are embedded in the matrix. And these are helpful to attach muscles to bones. Now fourth kind of connective tissue proper is called yellow fibrous connective tissue. Just like the white fibrous connective tissue, it's made up of a little matrix and blood vessels. But here, instead of white fiber bulges, yellow fiber bulges are found. 
which are form a network like structure here and in between them large intercellular spaces form here yellow fibers are arranged these are small fibers these are arranged and form some small bunches yes these green fibers as i'm showing to you these are yellow fibers specifically which are although they are arranged in parallel manner but because they are quite small so these cannot form elongated bunches or elongated structures they are formed like this here matrix is also present matrix is present here along with that blood vessels are also found and along with the blood vessels some fibroblast cells are found to form these kind of fibers which are present in the intercellular species here single or double fibroblast cells or multiple fibroblast cells can be present here. so this is yellow fibrous connective tissue which is made up of fibroblast cells which can form fiber these green mark fibers are yellow fibers which are elastin in nature because of the presence of elastin protein along with it matrix is found and blood vessels are also yellow fibrous connective tissue is responsible to connect two different bones or similar kind of bones so this is responsible to form joints and the yellow fibrous connective tissue that can connect bone to bone is called ligament same here a white fiber connective tissue that can connect muscle to bone is called tendon so now we can say tendons are responsible to connect muscle with bones while ligaments are responsible to connect bone to bone first kind of connective tissue proper is called reticular tissue as the word meaning is quite clear it's arrange it can arrange and form a reticle or network like structure it's formed by elastin and non elastin fiber that means white and yellow both kind of fibers are present here but along with these fiber a specific kind of fibers are also present which are rich in reticulin protein and because of formation of reticulin protein fibers because of the arrangement of fibers which are rich in reticulin proteins it forms a network like structure here this one is responsible to form lymphoid tissue and this is also found in bone marrow which helps in the formation of blood this is over about connective tissue proper